So what we have here behind us is our, uh, our full-scale uh, demonstration plant for lithium extraction from, from brine. This is the culmination of two years worth of work that we've completed here in Ontario. We've gone from bench scale through to a mini pilot scale, and we've scaled up the process each time to result in uh, what you see behind me. This is going to be uh, completed within the next couple of weeks and then transported down to Arkansas where it's going to be used to understand how we then move from this right the way through to a commercial plant very quickly. So this is where the process starts. The lithium rich tail brine, which comes from Lanxus's existing plants in southern Arkansas, comes into our demonstration plant just here. We do some initial filtering of the brine just to remove any residual solids. Then it moves into the heart of the demonstration plant, which is where we start to extract the lithium from it. So this is the heart of our patent-protected lithium extraction process. In this loading reactor just here, we mix the hot lithium-rich brine with a specific uh, lithium-selective absorbent material. The two are mixed continuously in here. The lithium ions move from the hot brine onto the solid absorbent material in the space of a few tens of minutes. We then separate the two continuously using membranes. The lithium-free brine goes back into the ground as normal and the lithium-loaded solid material goes into the rest of the process. So that we can recover as much lithium from the brine as possible, we have two stages of loading reactors, which you can see behind me just here. By the end of that, we've then taken all of the lithium out of the brine and we've locked it onto our solid solvent material. We then take that material and move it as a slurry and put it into these two washing reactors just here. And at this stage, we're washing any residual brine off of the solid absorbent material so we can then move to the final stripping and purification stages. At all stages throughout the process, we're recovering and reusing as much of the water as we can to make this a green and sustainable project. So now we're about an hour into the process. We've taken the hot lithium-rich brine, we've done some initial filtering, we run it through the loading reactors, and in those, we've taken the lithium, we've moved it onto a solid, fine-grain adsorbent material. We've then moved that material as a slurry, we've washed it, and prepared it for this final stage, which is in the stripping reactor. And in this reactor, we contact the slurry with a dilute hydrochloric acid, and we make a concentrated lithium chloride solution, which is then suitable for purification and final conversion. So we're coming towards the end of the lithium extraction plant. It comes in for final polishing just here through these ion exchange columns. By the time it exits these columns and moves into the final tank just here, we have concentrated high purity lithium chloride solution, which is now suitable for conversion into battery quality carbonate products. For context, this entire process just through here has taken on the order of a couple of hours. And if you compare that, to the existing conventional uh, process, which can take something on the order of 12 to 18 months, you can see this is a much more efficient 21st century solution to the problem of extracting lithium from continental brines.